Hello everyone, here we are with Mr. Sunil Agarwal, who is the MD of Sterling and Amal Advice Private. Hi sir. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great sir. So can you tell us a bit about Sterling? Well, Sterling is a long journey for the last 21 years. We started in 2002 at a very, in a very humble beginning with just uh, you know a capital of less than 10 lakhs that to be borrowed from a plot size of 400 square meters. And today Sterling stands as the largest manufacturer of aluminium enamel wires in India and a plot size of 28,000 square meters with a covered area of more than 2,75,000 square feet. And we have been doing this right from 2008. Uh, aluminium wires today Sterling is not only selling to India but to various uh, uh, companies which sell directly or indirectly to all over the world and uh, we've been doing make in India in a big way uh, aluminium wires were primarily being imported in India for last many years and uh, last few years we have been now doing almost uh, you know the imports have drastically come down of aluminium wires and today companies like LG are buying from us they come say buy from us the Indian market which was so from China is buying from us all these countries uh, you know whoever was importing from various parts of the world are now primarily sourcing it from India it's not sterling growing it's a complete market that's growing many companies are also coming up with aluminium wires replacing copper and I'm sure uh, copper is say 900 rupees a kilo aluminium is 350 rupees a kilo one third the weight saving is 1 by 12 so if suppose you were putting a a copper for 100 rupees and an appliance today aluminium goes in for say 10 rupees or maybe 15 rupees depending upon the quantum on that uh, appliance so we are talking about a cost saving of almost 80 to 85 percent in terms of value on aluminium and the latest what we did uh, uh, we got aluminium in the fan industry so earlier in the fan industry it was all copper now in the fan industry is all aluminium so slowly and gradually you will be seeing aluminium taking place and not only manufacturing in India for make in India also aluminium is self-sufficient in India if you see copper all the copper core or all the copper concentrate is getting imported from wherever but aluminium we are third largest in the world for aluminium mines so if you make aluminium then definitely we not only do make in India as substitute imports of enamel wires but we would also substitute imports of copper rods by having aluminium in India so now that you mentioned make in India uh, few times. I want to ask you, what is your take on the initiative created by the government on Make in India? See, if you see Make in India government, first thought process is that yes, we can do it. So that's the first part which has come up that yes, we can do it. Earlier it was always, you know, whether we can do it, whether we can not do it. So our Prime Minister and the government says, no, you can do it. Secondly, uh, there are a lot of small initiatives that are here which tells you, like it's a technology transfer, like people are looking as an India as an alternate to China today because you don't know what happens tomorrow I, I got at least four or five inquiries who want to shift their base of manufacturing or who want to shift their base of sourcing from China to India so this gives a lot of confidence to people like us who spend a lot of money that's it I'm actually very proud to be like it's, I think every Indian should actually be proud to make in India because uh, you, uh, usually people used to consider Indian products as a cheap uh, yes, and substandard. Like, yes, and now it's been changing a lot. So I, I think it's, you're right, sir. It's been a. It's been a See, I tell you, Sterling journey, uh, LG is with us. LG, we use products of LG, all, everybody. Uh, Tecumseh, another compressor company is with us. Regal Rexnord, it's one of the five biggest companies in the world. They are sourcing all their aluminum requirements from us. Now, there's a company called PICL, a number group company, which is again uh, giving air conditioner, motors to everybody in the line, whether it's Voltas, Daikin, Panasonic, you know, Hire, Hitachi, Carrier. So, they're all buying their aluminium from us so definitely uh, we are seeing it as an alternate and sterling has been quite instrumental in making this happen i hope you uh, your company grows more and thank you so much so it was a pleasure meeting you thank, thank you same here thank you and all the best thank you sir.